Hi, I'm John Tope. Welcome to Wooden Works Movement Repair. No one knows the exact date the first wooden movements were made, but they came into great prominence after the introduction of the mass-produced Eli Terry movements of the early 1800s. In the height of their manufacture of these movements, there were over 200 wooden movement shelf clock manufacturers. Many speculate that the popularity of wooden movements were due to the lack of available brass after the American Revolutionary War. These movements were first found in tall case clocks and then later expanded to shelf clocks. Wooden movements stayed in their prominence until about 1845. Great works have been written about the history of these wooden movements and most of the NAWCC bulletins of the last 20 years contain articles on the identification and historical research on these wooden works movements. Very, very rare is the article or book on the subject of wooden movement repairs. Although the operating concepts and mechanical clocks remain const uh, constant, wood is much different than brass, and the repair methods that must be adapted to accommodate wood uh, can be far different than brass. This course is all about the proper repair and restoration of wooden movements. Since there is very little information available on the subject, I hope that this course will be a significant contribution to the education of wooden movement repair and restoration. We will cover a wide range of restoration and repair topics throughout this video course. I will try to pack as much information and repair procedures that we can fit into this four hour program. You can follow along from your workbench and with the accompanying repair manual that comes with this course. The manual follows the sequence of repairs and offers expanded repair information and repair tips. Some of the additional information in the manual is not found in the video portion of this program. Uh, there is a section at the back of the manual that lists all the tools that we'll, we will be using uh, during this course. The first thing that we will look at is the initial visual observation of the wooden movement. Then we'll move on to disassemble the movement. Let's take a look at this movement. First thing I want to mention is that the these plates are made of oak and the gears that you see inside they're made of cherry and the shafts for the pinions are made from either ivy or laurel and those were the materials used almost all the wooden movement clocks. Now in looking at this clock I can see right away that on the strike side I've got some teeth missing here on this pinion here and obviously this clock is not going to be able to strike with missing teeth so maybe that's why this one ended up in the spare parts heap without a clock case because maybe someone took it out and tried to do some repair work or cleaning and broke the uh, teeth uh, many times the teeth get broken by overwinding or dropping the movement or dropping the parts and, or break during make, while making attempts to make repairs. But in looking at the rest of this movement, some of the other wheels in here, I don't see any broken teeth. And they look looks pretty good otherwise. Now I notice that they use this, looks like this wire for the weight cords and that's really not proper procedure or proper uh, type of thing that you should be using. Braided nylon cord is, is the best because this wire here this would eat up your pulleys and and eventually do damage to your case pulleys and and also it's not good on the wood on here on the on the drums of the uh, of the wheels. 